name is Becky Bear, and I am the Marketing Services Manager at Lakeview Farms. And what our department does is all of the creative work for the company. A, a big majority of what we do most of the time is relating to packaging, packaging design, whether it's uh, our branded items or private labels. Lakeview has seven to ten brands that we own. We do everything from uh, the graphics on here to the photography um, to the actual like legal content of the label so making sure that you know nutrition and ingredient and factual information is correct so we proof all of that and we um, route it to all the departments within the company that need to sign off on it before um, it goes to print so our research and development they um, are responsible for the nutrition and ingredients and they check it all and we get all the information from them and there's a lot of coordination and communication back and forth with them and then we also have a lot of communication with our purchasing managers because we also have to every time we change stuff we have to communicate with them uh, like what, what their inventory is and when they're going to run stuff out and when they need to get stuff in here for new items and all that good stuff started working here about 10 years ago and for the first two years I was actually um, working in production and going to school and I uh, went to school during the day and I worked third shift all night so I was working full time because I had to pay for my own school and all that good stuff. Then after I graduated I had the opportunity to uh, talk with our VP of sales and he actually moved me up to our corporate office. At that point in time, all of the creative and design type work was being outsourced to a company in Lima. I went up there, then we started to internalize a lot of it. And um, so I really have, uh, with, with that aspect, have kind of created my own position here. I have been doing that for eight years now. Most of this work is done in um, the Adobe Creative Cloud. So that is Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign. I learned a lot of it at, uh, when I was going to school, uh, is when I where I learned most of the programs, but a lot of it has been um, continuous education afterwards because the programs are always changing, technology is always changing. So every, seems like every couple years I'll go and do a um, conference or a seminar, or a lot of times I just educate myself through YouTube videos and keep up on things that way. My degree is in digital media and graphic design. I always kind of had that creative, creative thinking, creative mind, that was what I enjoyed doing, but I always felt like, you know, people would say, there's there's nothing you can do with that. You can't make a living doing that. You can't, um, you know, you, you need to go to school for something else. And, um, and you know, for a while, like, I believed that. I, my advice would be, if you're that type of person or that type of thinker, like, you can, you can find work in what you want to do and what you enjoy doing, and, and you can make it happen. Okay, so a typical day in here, a lot of uh, email, unfortunately, it's not the most glamorous thing, but email and phone calls and answering questions and communication is a big um, skill that we use and organization because we have to coordinate all of these uh, packaging changes, anything related to our packaging, anytime anything changes, whether, whether it is, you know, artwork and, you know, the fun things that we get to do or if it's... Um, you know, a nutrition and ingredient change or a net weight changed or anything. Um, all of that flows through this department. But we have hundreds of, of uh, different packaging products out there and we have to keep it all straight and we have to keep all of the backup to it. When we, you know, get audited and stuff, we're responsible for all of that information. So a lot of communication and coordination and then also with our uh, private labels we communicate a lot with uh, with our customers and our printers you know even when we're not the ones designing we have to communicate um, the projects back and forth with people like for example some of our biggest customers you know like the Walmarts and the Kroger's um, they have their own big design firms that do their work but we have to um, provide them information um, still route and proof and check the packaging that they're creating and we have to work in their software systems to review and approve their packaging. That also is a whole other aspect outside of design of things that we take care of. Uh, something else that we take care of is our website. So all of our, um, a lot of our products are on the website, nutrition, ingredients, pictures, 
so we handle the photography and the editing of those pictures and keeping them on the website and nutrition and ingredients that are on the website and anytime it changes on the packaging we change it on the website so because that's where the consumers are going and that's where they look for information and so it all has to be accurate a lot of what we do too is for sales and they have to go out and visit with customers and so we make sell sheets for them so you know even even when it's new items that we're not uh, making yet and the packaging isn't in print um, we will have to um, mock packaging up for the meetings so for example like we would have to take a box that looks like this and we would print it all out here and we would laminate it and we would cut it and we would fit it to this box so that it ends up looking like this and our salesperson can take it into a meeting and um, try to get it sold and then um, along with that we provide them with a lot of uh, sales materials so they take our sell sheets in there and then we also provide these to them digitally so that they can email them to customers or brokers or whoever it needs to go to so we do a lot of this type of stuff so everything you see on here from the pictures to the logos to any type of graphic to even the um, spec information like we're we have to get all that information and put it on their form too. And then sometimes, you know, we get to do the more fun stuff like koozies and cups and t-shirts. <laughs> we also manage our coupon program. So whether it is, you know, coupons like this that are getting stuck on the packaging or whether it's something like this that's printed on the back of a sleeve so we do everything there again from creating the artwork to working with purchasing and figuring out like how many they need to run on this packaging what's their inventory and then we track it all so that um so that we know how many have been out there in distribution so we can get when we find out how many have been redeemed we can um track that information too for sales and marketing so that they know what's working and what's not working yes go going back to high school and the mindset I was in when when people would you know say you know oh well you know you need to do this type of job or you're not going to get a job around here doing that um, it, it caused me to go to school for things that I didn't necessarily want to do but because I felt like I should be doing that and it, it caused me to change my major a lot and spend a lot of money that I didn't need to spend so I wish that I would have just done from the start what I was good at and what I enjoyed doing. So, and then we, we handle anything, any other type of creative work that the company needs, whether it be signs or um, decor for the hallways or advertisements all the way down to the yearbook ads for school, you know, really anything. Um, when they have food shows and they need banners or table skirts for a demo that they're doing in a grocery store. So it's changing, it's always different. You think you come in and you're gonna know what your day is gonna be like and in one phone call or one email, your entire day, your entire week can change. And sometimes it can be extremely frustrating, but sometimes that's what I like is that I'm not doing the same thing over and over every day. Hello, my name is Michelle Stetson Baker. I am a brand marketing analyst for Lakeview Farms. I've been with Lakeview for only about a month. Um, my field is called category management. So what that means is um, I, I specifically work with just supermarkets. So we have salesmen who actually sell our products to those supermarkets. So what I do is help those salesmen go in with a really good story that says you got to have this product on your shelves. It's just the greatest thing and you got to have it. And so how I do that is working with um, numbers. So everything um, has to point back to the numbers that says, yep, this is a, this is a good product to have. Um, if it's something that's like maybe similar on the shelf, something really similar, um, we can use the numbers. If it's something that's brand, brand new to the supermarket, never been in there, we'll go ask shoppers, hey, um, what do you think of this product? And then that will kind of guide us to do we, what package we put it in, what size we put it in. Um, is it a product that maybe Hispanic consumers like or African-American consumers like? 
So if that's the case, maybe we'll just take that product and we'll put it in just the stores where there are a lot of Hispanic um, people that live near that store or African Americans that live near that store. Um, or it's just a general product that just, you know, just about everybody would like. So we'll say to the supermarket, um, let's, let's try to get that in all your stores. So then once we go in with the salesman and we've successfully sold that product in, the salesman will then come to me and they'll say, okay, how is it doing? Is it selling or is it not selling? And if it's not selling, who's beating us? Is there somebody else out there that's doing a better job? And they might be putting it on sale all the time, or they might have it in more stores, or they might have an even better price. So then I have to go back in and figure out, okay, we're not doing very well. Why are we not doing very well? Or we could be doing good. Why are we doing well? So I will go in and dig through the numbers and try to tell a story as to why it's doing well or why it's not doing well. So I really um, help the salesmen a lot. They don't have time to dig through all the numbers and, uh, and all the insights. Um, so I will go through and do that. And then we also use different services um, like Mintel. Uh, Mintel goes out and kind of sees what's brand new in the marketplace, what are kind of the trends um, coming down the path that these trends might even be in France or Italy, but they're doing really well there. So we kind of want to see, is it something that might resonate in the United States? So we just kind of want to stay on top of those things. We don't want anybody to beat us to the shelf with something new. We want to come out with it. Um, so again, I mainly work with supermarkets. Um, you can use this category management for like Macy's or, or other stores like that. But my job is generally focused um, around the supermarkets and most of my experience is I'm from Cincinnati so most of my experience has been with Kroger because that's where Kroger's corporate headquarters are. I have a bachelor's degree from the University of Cincinnati. Um, I actually worked during the day and went to school at night. Um, so my bachelor's degree is in business administration um, and then I had a minor in marketing. Um, Probably the category management's only really been out since the early 1990s, and I've watched Kroger progress it from the early 1990s all the way up to now, where they've gotten really, really um, specific on their data. Um, so I would say if this is a field that you wanted to go into, you, you would need to really love working with numbers, charts, and graphs. Um, and I don't think colleges have a program as of yet, but marketing would be a good place to start for you. Okay, so I use Excel a lot. So you have to be almost an advanced user of Excel. So you ha generally have a lot of data, lots and lots of rows. I even had one that had literally 900,000 rows of data. So you've got to know Excel very well. You got to know pivot tables in Excel very well. And then again, we've got to come up with this story to help sell to the retailers. So you're going to have to know PowerPoint because you're going to have to take all that data and put it in a PowerPoint presentation for those salesmen to then take it into the retailers to sell that um, product. And generally, if you're interested in my profession, um, you're probably going to have to be located um, near Cincinnati because Kroger's corporate headquarters are there. Um, or Walmart, which is in Arkansas, um, because every manufacturer is going to be calling on those really big retailers, and generally Kroger and Walmart are your biggest. Um, so every manufacturer that's in the grocery store is going to ha really have to have somebody that's doing what I'm doing to help those salesmen go into those corporate headquarters and sell their products. So another piece of software that you, you could potentially use a lot is called either JDA or Apollo. And what that is, is they call it space management software. So really basically all that is, is a picture of what goes on the shelf. So you, you'll have a, what they call a planogram writer and the Kroger or the Walmart will say, okay, this is how we want everything to fit on the shelf or to go on the shelf and the store. So the planogram writer will write that, create that picture, and then they'll take that picture and they'll give it to another set of people that will go out and actually 
rearrange other things on the shelf or put everything on the shelf the way they're supposed to. As far as uh, a future look, really most of my future look things are more consumer insights, things that are new to the marketplace or uh, people are doing things differently and this is how they're doing them differently. Um, you know, packages are changing. Um, you, you can go into the store now and you see the little baby food pouches where they used to be in jars, now they're in little pouches. So again, that gets into some of the, some companies like Mintel that will go in there and actually keep an eye on the trends and kind of tell you what they think is coming down the road. But it's just a guess. I mean, I think a really good start um, would be actually work in a grocery store. Um, and you can kind of see the ins and outs and how they price things and how they put things on the shelf. Um, and really, once you do that, um, and then you get into category management, you'll s it's amazing. People just don't realize all the work that goes into deciding what that particular item, um, how it got on the shelf. So there's just a lot of work that goes behind that. They don't put just anything on the shelf. I mean, you've got to, if you get your product in, and as far as Kroger's concerned, you got about a year. And then after about a year, if you're not doing well, you're gone. So. Yeah, I would think working in a grocery store or any manufacturer um, that you see in the grocery store, maybe that would be a good uh, that would be a good start too.